break hurts a lot. Whether it's an end to a romantic relationship, a sudden loss of a loved one, or even an emotional memory, the pain that comes with heartbreak is almost unbearable. While for some people, a broken heart is just a metaphor, for others, it can lead to death. Researchers call this the broken heart syndrome. Your emotions can change the way your heart functions, if only for a brief time. With broken heart syndrome, you may have a sudden chest pain or become breathless, and you may think that you are having a heart attack. But you're not. So what exactly is going on? And why can intense emotional pain, and even joy, kill us? Unlike a heart attack, which is caused by block arteries in the heart, broken heart syndrome is caused by an intense emotional shock, like the loss of a loved one. This may explain why couples who have been together for long periods of time often die within days of each other. The condition can also be triggered by a serious physical illness or surgery. Ironically, intense happy events such as weddings or winning a lot of money can also lead to broken heart syndrome. With broken heart syndrome, your heart becomes weak and doesn't pump blood very well. Part of your heart also becomes temporarily enlarged. This can change how your heart pumps, which causes symptoms that resemble a heart attack. What's scary is that otherwise healthy individuals who have no history of medical conditions can suffer from this syndrome. It affects more women than men, and researchers aren't exactly sure why this is the case. While the exact cause of this syndrome is unknown, researchers think the chemicals released during stressful periods, such as adrenaline, actually weaken the heart muscle and cause individuals to feel like they're having a heart attack. Although in some cases the broken heart syndrome can be life-threatening, the good news is most people fully recover within weeks. But there is bad news too. Cases of broken heart syndrome are increasing each year. This is especially true in women who have gone through menopause. Perhaps this means doctors are simply more aware of the syndrome and so now they are looking for it more often. Or Perhaps, life is simply becoming more stressful. In fact, there is some evidence to suggest that we are overloading our lives with stress even if we don't realize it. As interesting as that may be, that's a topic for another episode.